I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so I just completed the uh, episode 2 video of what happens to Windows 11 when a C drive goes offline and I'd use the uh, Cucurator Plexi this time for that and after it locked up I had just plugged the hard drive back in, both SATA connections on the motherboard, plugged them both back in and I reset the uh, computer and went on in there to uh, start uploading that previous video to YouTube and lo and behold, um, I guess the uh, the uh, BIOS defaulted to the 120 gig Seagate drive, which has Windows 11 installed on it, instead of the uh, one terabyte Western Digital drive, which has the uh, Plexi's Windows 10, which is the normal drive that it actually runs on. So what happened is it went to sleep. You can see the uh, top light there there is flashing. So I said, you know, what the heck? Disconnect the hard drive and let's uh let's wake her back up and <laughs> see what happens. No hard drive now. Talk about the rude awakening. See if we even get any video at all. Oh, it just crashed. And yeah, so now it's going to boot into Windows 10 like usual. So, <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing too spectacular there. I was curious, however, just to see what it would do. Okay, now that's weird. It just shut itself off. <laughs> the world is possessed. Why did this shut itself off for? That's weird. Truly is possessed. Plexi didn't like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, that was kind of an interesting twist. So, uh, while we didn't get anything on the screen when Windows 11 crashed out of sleep, uh, yeah, talk about the rude awakening. Um, the uh, computer reset, and then for some reason, it just shut itself off when starting to boot Windows 10. But you can see it's uh, starting up now, and it's not doing the fast startup this time, it's taking its sweet time. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.